lectures, and today I'm going to be doing my informative speech on gymnastics. So a background story of why I started gymnastics was because I saw Carly Patterson in the 2004 Olympics win a gold medal, and that's how I became so interested in it. So I've been doing it since I was three years old, um, which is 17 years, and I decided to take gymnastics to the next level in college and compete for the University of Florida. The history of gymnastics. So according to a gymnastics history article, gymnastics began over 2,500 years ago in the Greek culture. And it first started with children doing flips and stuff for coordination, and then it became super popular. So then they brought the sport into the Olympics and made it more official. And ever since then, it has grown a lot. The current state of gymnastics. So the current state of gymnastics is that um, the gymnast's difficulty and execution and routines have changed a lot since obviously when it first started, as well as the equipment to protect the athlete's safety. Two events that have changed a lot are the uneven bars and the vault. So the vault first began as a long piece of wood and the bars were super close and gymnasts didn't have much leeway to swing. So they ended up spreading the bars out for more difficult skills as well as making the ball bigger. So then gymnasts could also perform much better. So according to a Statistica um, article, around 6.8 million Americans do gymnastics. And this shows that it is very common and many young kids join when they're younger. So another thing is gymnasts are scored out of 10 points and there are two judges that are watching each routine and each routine is scored by execution, difficulty, and performance as a whole. So it is very uncommon to get a 10-0, but as you may know, Nadia Comaneci was the first female gymnast on uneven bars to get a 10-0. And another thing is that gymnasts train up to 20 hours a week, so it's a very high-demanding sport, which includes a lot of commitment and determination. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is college gymnastics versus elite gymnastics. College gymnasts often compete for their university, and elite gymnastics, they have one common goal, which is typically the Olympics. And they're very different because elite scoring is much higher than regular level 10 gymnasts and, or collegiate gymnasts. And Collegiate gymnasts often have much simpler routines, so then they can score that perfect time. And I have a video to show the difference of gymnastics then and now. that was the old vault, and those were the old bars that were much closer together. and intense sport for many athletes. So, do you guys have any questions? What's your question? Uh, what's your favorite event in gymnastics and why? My favorite event is theme because it comes most natural to me and I really enjoy doing it. I have a question. How old were you when you started gymnastics? I started when I was three years old. What's your favorite part of 
being a part of the UF gymnastics team. My favorite part is being on the team and being able to represent the University of Florida um, to the best of my ability. Why'd you pick UF? <laughs> I picked UF because it was just a super good program with um, athletics and academics. Does anyone else have a question? Do you have a question? Do you have a question?